For this crystallization process, real-time microscopy was used to understand the mechanism that was causing a poor impurity profile in the final product. This was a process where cooling was used to initiate spontaneous nucleation. Initially, block-like crystals appeared and began to grow, but quickly it becomes clear that agglomeration is going to play a critical role in this process. Over time, the agglomeration continues with few individual crystals observed. Instead, long chains of agglomerates form, likely trapping impurities as they do so. Eventually, these agglomerates begin to grow themselves, and we see the primary crystals in each agglomerate increase in size. Clearly, this is a system prone to heavy agglomeration meaning a review of the solvent chosen, or maybe the mixing conditions, will be needed to minimize the impact and resolve the impurity rejection issue.